17 people were shot, one fatally, inside a Cincinnati nightclub Sunday morning. Here's what we know so far. The shooting. Police got calls about shots fired at Cameo nightclub on Kellogg Avenue at about 1.30 a.m. Sunday. When first responders arrived, most people had run from the building but victims were still inside. It was my understanding that they literally had to step over some victims to get to more critically wounded victims and worked on the one person that passed away, fraternal order of police president Dan Hills said. Witnesses told WLWT News 5 that several, perhaps 20, shots were fired inside the club. One man said he heard the DJ call for security about 10 minutes before the shooting. Witness, I thought I was going to die. Police said that there were multiple shooters. The victims. O'Brien Spikes, 27, was killed. He was a father and junior college student who frequented the club, his family said. Sixteen others were shot. One is in extremely critical condition, Cincinnati Police Chief Elliot Isaac said Sunday. University of Cincinnati Medical Center said Monday morning that two victims are in critical condition and three others are stable. The other victims have been released. The motive. Police have said that a dispute earlier in the day may have led to the shooting inside the club. They do not suspect terrorism, they said. The investigation. Police are working to interview as many of the 200 or so people who were inside the club as possible. When shots rang out, patrons ran from the club and many got into their cars and left before police arrived. There are surveillance cameras at the club, police said, and they are reviewing the tapes. Anyone who has information is asked to contact Crime Stoppers at 513-352-3040 or on their website. The club. Cameo Nightclub is in a large building near warehouses and a handful of homes near the Ohio River in Cincinnati's East End neighborhood. The club is 18 and up on some nights and is open until 4 a.m. on Saturdays. Four Cincinnati police officers were stationed in the parking lot at the time of the shooting. Cameo has had problems with violence in the past, including two shootings at the club in 2015. Owner Julian Rogers said that Cameo has four or five police officers and 15 to 20 security personnel on duty on Saturday nights. He vowed to help bring closure and justice for that family. We're doing everything we are supposed to. We are cooperating wholeheartedly. We're going to get them, he said. The reaction. Cincinnati leaders call the shooting horrific and totally evil. You have innocent people shot just for going out to have a good time. That's totally unacceptable. It's totally evil, said Cincinnati Mayor John Cranley. City leaders will get an update on the shooting and the status on the search for shooters at a meeting Monday morning at City Hall. WLWT News 5 will live stream the meeting at 10 a.m. We've got to get guns out of the hands of young people. I mean, it's a real challenge. There are way too many guns getting into the hands of individuals who don't need them said Cincinnati Councilwoman Yvette Simpson. The questions. The investigation is still in its early stages and police still have many questions to find the answers to. No arrests have been made. Who shot spikes, and why, has not been determined. Many ask how guns got into the club in the first place. Cincinnati police said that security guards use metal detector wands and pat down patrons as they enter the club. 